Mike, your your, your listeners and callers in uh, from all over the place, but. Do you think that's right, that if the government, you know, if it, oh, I know you've been hugely critical of, if they somehow found it within themselves to go for a kind of fairly free market radical solution, we're going to cut your taxes, we're going to cut regulation, you guys have got to grow your way out of this, and we, the government, are more or less going to start getting out of your way. Do you think that would be popular, or do you think it might not be popular in contemplation, but it might be popular in effect? Oh, I think most people, uh, regardless of, uh, of, of their kind of political persuasion, perhaps with the exception of job rental, would prefer less government, right? Because government just gets in the way of everything. You know, the more regulations we have, the more ridiculous it becomes. And we've seen that now in the past year. We've had more regulation, I think, than I've ever remembered in my entire lifetime. Here's what you can do. Here's what you can't do. Here's who you can do it with. I mean, I found out the weekend you're allowed to go out with somebody for a walk, but you can only stand up. You're not allowed to do anything other than standing up. There's no exercise that you can do which involves lying down. But the bottom line for me is that it really, in the end, people just want to be able to make money, provide for their families, keep as much of that money as they possibly can, help people who are less fortunate than themselves. Um, and I think most British people still have that at the heart of their kind of, you know, big society. But I think I'll tell you what the problem is in this country. The public sector has got too big and it's very much centred in London and it's full of... Um, people who make reasonably good salaries and are very comfortable and working from home for them is absolutely a doddle. And that's the problem with the government. It's the problem with the civil service. It's the problem with the NHS. And it's the biggest problem we've currently got. And I think if they can start paring down the public sector without having to, uh, you know, cost us anything in terms of services, that's a big start. I think people are very keen on the public sector when it's delivering uh, the vaccination programme as it is at the moment. And uh, people are uh, looking to the government to do that and to protect them. Uh, I do think there's a, there's an awful lot of uh, double think in this uh, this idea. Yeah, for every for every vaccinating uh, a station, there's there's a set of traffic wardens going out giving people tickets who are trying to go out shopping at the weekend, and that doesn't need to happen. I, I accept that people like the good things the public sector does, but they also don't like the unnecessary things the public sector does. And there's an awful lot of people in the public sector who, quite frankly, are unemployable. 